right. That's right, guys. Welcome back to another Subi Shays video with me on a beautiful day, guys. It's a day of brown boxes. Take a look. Guys, as a wet shaver, as a content creator, as a person who is just very invested in this hobby, you know there's nothing better than getting a brown box, guys. I am one of those people that's like on the FedEx page, like hitting refresh, like, where's my stuff? I, am, I need my new shave things. And today, guys, it's one of those epic, beautifully, oh, just like a moment crafted by Zeus himself, right? This is like a, like a, it's a moment of moments, right? It's like flaming, fiery phoenix feathers on a dragon, guys. This is, this is, this is it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. The Rex console is here. It is in this box, guys. I did purchase it myself. I did not loan it. It was not sent to me. This is going to be my honest unboxing and opinions. And we're going to be shaving with the Rex console, guys. We're going to break it down. We're going to get into it. And I'm so excited. Thank you so much again for joining me, for clicking in and being here on the daily, guys. I was checking my numbers. We're getting closer to 600. We're almost there. So thank you so much for making that possible, guys. Seriously, I couldn't do these kind of things without you. I wouldn't be doing these kind of things without you. And I'm really hoping to get back. I'm hoping I can save you guys some money by giving you a full in-depth look on the Rex console, guys, where you can almost reach out and touch it and almost, you know, get me as well. So it's going to be awesome. It's going to be sweet. I'm so excited. I am just so pumped, guys, to have you here with me. And seriously, what a cool opportunity, right? If you're one of those guys like me that's seeing this, see this adjustable slant razor from Matt over at Razor Emporium, right? It's a fully stainless steel, fully adjustable slant razor, guys. What a cool, cool razor, right? What a cool concept. And today we're going to see how well it was executed. I don't know. This is about right here. We um, pre-ordered. I pre-ordered like uh, about a month ago. And I told the wife, I was like, I'm going to do this. It wasn't even a month ago. It was like a couple weeks ago. I was like, I'm doing this. She's like, sure, that's fine. Well, how much is it? And then I kind of, you know, trailed off. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. This is a something. Guys, it's the things we do, right? The things we do to be able to help others, right? The reviews and the honesty and the transparency. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm so excited. Let's get this box open already. Good night, nurse. Come on, Suvi. Let's crack her open, right? I had to do a little jig this morning, right, to my own soundtrack, right? That was me on the piano. And because, honestly, I think this was made for shaving me, right? This is definitely made to shave me. I love slant razors. As a person with a bald head, I get lots of this really coarse stubble and then also really fine stubble, right? And finding a razor that gets through both of them is kind of difficult. The leaf has done phenomenal for me. And some DEs are really, really good at getting through both types of hair. Slants especially, guys. Slants for me as a head shave have been almost unbeatable, right? As far as the closeness and the longevity of the BBS. And being able to get one that's adjustable just really amps me up, guys. Before we open the box, right? Before we crack it open, I did want to mention today we're using Plumeria by Sterling. This was sent to me by my buddy, the Shave Dad, Jeremy. Guys, my lather's been sitting for like too long, but take a look. We'll see how it sits. Um, yeah, it, it, it does not suck, guys. It is not a bad lather. It's really strong. And the scent on it for me is like citrus and flowers. It's very citrusy, you guys. You see like this? Look at that. That is that sterling type of lather for you. That It's going to do it all day long. It's beautiful. I do find this plumeria stuff to be like maybe a little too strong. Little, a little too strong there, guys. Look at this, right? Look at that. It wags. That's all I'm going to say is it's wagging and it's happy and it's ready for a shave. We're going to be using Sin by PAA because I don't have a scent that matches that whatsoever. We're going to be using Sin. It's an unscented splash, guys, just to give the head a nice, uh, good feel after the shave. And we're going to be using the pre-shave. It's the Pacific Shave Co. as a pre-shave. Oh, yes! We're grabbing the Kiwi Lime, guys. Kiwi Lime. We're getting a little bit of energy into us. I'm hoping everybody's mornings are positive and happy. Guys, Subi smiles to all of you. And seriously, Subi love to everybody joining me. I am so excited. This is, again, a razor I've been really excited to use and to see. We're going to crack it open. I have not opened it. It's marked 241. I don't know if that's specific to me or special to me. I don't really know. But it is marked 241, guys, right there. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to see what it does. All right, we're going to open her up. I did request over to Matt. I'm going to try to do this with you guys up here. I did request over to Matt, and I said, you know, I'd love to get one that is no Loctite. Sands the Loctite for me so that I can get on YouTube and show everybody how it works internally. 
right? I'd love to get on YouTube, show how it works internally, and then also see if it can be modded. You know, see, what can we do with the Rex console? Can we use the extra large handle? Can we make the XL console? Can we do some things like that? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out, guys. Holy, no, 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 check it out. All right, Leprechaun slapping. What in the world is, I, this is, so, this is a moment, man. Moment of moments right here. I'm gonna double check my receipt, make sure that they didn't send me three of them, because you know I didn't I didn't order three of them. Guys, check it out right here. Sans the Lockaroonie. Sans the Loctite. Yes. All right. That, that's all I need to see. They can send me three. That's fine. If they send me three, that's fine. No problems. I do find this box, guys, to be a little big for this little box. It feels like the exact same OG Rex um, uh, packaging, which makes sense because it's so similar to the Rex, right? Do you guys want to see? You want to see? Number 109. Number 109, boys and girls. That's right. That's what we got. Number 109. What a cool, my heart is going to explode. It's like, I feel like a freaking hummingbird right now, man. I'm so excited. You couldn't slap the smile off my face if it wasn't Christmas and you told me so. Guys, wow, what a cool, awesome, amazing opportunity. I'm just so pumped. And I honestly, I haven't spent, I, I, I started the craft, right? Really thrifty, right? Like Paul Kuhn. Really thrifty. I was like, I'm going to save money on this. Now we're doing this kind of nonsense, guys. I actually wrote tons of blogs about how I'd never owned such a thing. It's an elitist tool, right? It's an elitist way of saying you've, you've spent the most, but it's not even that true. Look at the rock now, right? There's lots of razors, timeless. There's a lot of wolfmen, a lot of expensive ones. And as I've come into the craft, I've just really come to appreciate a nice, beautiful razor. Now I look at a timeless or a wolfman, I'm like, Hmm, how much does my wife want to hate me today? Just, I, I, guys, I haven't bought one, right? I'm still married. If you're curious, I'm still married. All right, let's look at this, guys. So the, the packaging is the exact same. I get a little bit of loft and a little bit of wiggle to mine, but it has that really nice OG, you know, that similar style. If you haven't seen this, guys, the boxing, it's, 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 it's nice. It's not like, it's nothing like super like, you know, unique, but it does keep the razor usually in place. Mine had, did come out a little bit, just a titch. Let's put it back in there for you guys. Take, oh, look at this, guys. Oh, look at this. We're gonna go on the Subi hat cam angle. Don't you worry, you know that's gonna happen. You know that's gonna happen when we load it, but let's get a look-ski. look a Rooney here, guys. Look at you, guys, look at this. Ah! Wow, holy good night. What a Christmas day, man. Oh, what a Red Rider moment, whoa. Guys, what a handle! You guys, look at this handle! I know I've seen it on pictures on Rex, like their website. It is very unique, guys. I'm trying, I'll, I'll try to get this on the Subi hat cam. Guys, look at the ridges here. It's actually ridges. It reminds me kind of like a chain link fence a little bit. Kind of like a chain link fence. What? You guys see that? You see how deep these knurlings are? I don't even, I don't know how you'd make this. I don't, like, it's like a spike ball. I don't know how you would make this, like an armadillo, right? It's like an armadillo, or like one of those ankylosauruses. It's like their back. Guys, this is like the craziest, it's like armor. It looks like armor. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious. Holy, shut the front door. Guys, here is the Rex Ambassador beside it. This is my Rex Ambassador that I have modded, of course. But look at this. Guys, it's really pretty. Um, I do th think my edges are still a little sharper than I'd like. Just a titch, especially this one right here. The edging on the edges on uh, this right here on this bar are just a little bit sharp. Just a little bit sharp right here on those corners. Just, I mean, ever so slightly. But where I have problems is where I'm shaving. I nick it, my, I can actually feel it on my ear right there. And I've cut my ear before doing that. One of them, it's just one of them. One, one of them looks really sharp. But other than that, everything else looks good. What's kind of interesting about this, guys? What's really interesting, I'm gonna double check my, my bars too. Bars feel really nice, guys. I'm just going through, I'm just double checking everything, right? You paid a lot of money, you wanna make sure everything's looking good, make sure there's no damage, no problems, no milling issues. And you know, Matt is awesome. They actually do a lot of that checking before it goes out. 
I just kind of want to go through and double check it before because I did get drag marks once upon a time with my Rex. Um, what's really interesting, if you look at the profile design on this, guys, look at the bar. You see the bar here? Now look at the bar here. You see how it's like offset? And you see the material difference here versus here. You guys see the material? It's, it's, it's different for sure. And then as you flip it, right, these are the same part just flipped left and right. What a crazy um, safety bar, guys. Look at that safety bar. It's giving you, um, uh, like, you know, a slanted, like, it gives you a slant, right? It gives you slanted exposure there. And a slant, right, it's going to cut right through the hair follicle. It's going to be much like a very smooth experience. I do want to mention the balance on this is phenomenal, guys. It's in the same place as my Rex Ambassador is right now. It's right there. The, the, it's super well balanced, guys. Really pretty, really nice. It's the same knob as it's the same actual Rex Ambassador knob uh, and and rod. If I can, if I if I'm looking at it right, it feels like it's the same. Mine is definitely tight. Holy Nelly! I cannot like hold. Oh, it was on there. Whoever tightened this was like King Kong grip. They, they Hercules that thing. But now check this out. We're gonna open it up. Oh, beautiful. Right to that six and a half. The six and a half adjustments, nice and solid, guys. It goes all the way down to the negative, just, just right before the one. And what we can do on mine, right? What we can do on mine is we can take this knob and we're going to pull it out. You see how that pulls, guys, right here? Really easy, really nice. I love how it sits out and just like it kind of chills. We can pull this off, right? Really cool. We're going to get a good look at this. You guys can see the cap is different than the OG Rex cap. We're going to do that on the Subi hat cam, guys, and really look at it. I just want to give you guys a thorough, like, see my face and see how cool, like, and how much I can just see and appreciate. Um, this is really pretty, guys. Really nice. I I just think Matt outdid himself. Watch this, guys. Watch this. We got it, we got it unscrewed, right? And much like the Gibbs. <laughs> you ready for this? <gasps> he did what? He did what? Not the Rex, not the console, not... That's what I do, guys. It's what we do. It's what we do on this channel. If we're not breaking it down into its pieces and analyzing it, we're doing something wrong. Guys, take a look. This is really what makes this Razer so unique, right? Matt over at Razer Emporium, he, you can just see that this was well thought out, well executed, and well engineered. Look at this. And I can't imagine the amount of effort that it takes to generate something like this on off of CNC. It's got to take a lot of time and a lot of effort. Look at how beautiful this is. Hopefully this is giving you guys a really good thorough analysis and review on the product. That's my hope. That's my goal. I want it to be thorough and I want it to really go through the sum of its parts. What a cool opportunity. Um, also guys, so we're going to go through and break it all the way down, but you can unscrew this knob right here, right? Yep. Just keep it going, keep it going. We're going to keep going and slide it apart. And what you're going to find is there's a spring. You see the spring? And a piece that looks like this. So this piece right here is what's unique, right? This piece looks like it's probably the same one as the Rex console, as the Rex Ambassador. Right here, I think this is the same piece. If my eyes are not eluding me wrong, I think it's the same piece. This right here is the magic. This is the money. And this is what you're all paying for right there. And I don't know if this will be ever offered um, by itself because you have to have the head cap. So I don't know if he'll ever sell replacement parts for this, but you'll have to have these two pieces for it to work, right? You'll have to have it like this. And you really have to have that other piece so that it can go together. You know, I just, I don't know if he can sell this broken down like without that, you know, in the sum of its pieces and the sum of its parts because you really need to have all the others. I'm sure he'll sell warranty pieces for all of us that have problems or accidents, but really this is the magic. This is what really, in my opinion, this is what makes Matt's product so unique is this base plate, right? What really sets a slant apart is its base plate and its head cap. And that's what these two pieces really are right here. So freaking cool, guys. Really cool. Very, very pretty. 
No problems on my finishing whatsoever. Guys, let's go get this loaded up. Let's take a look at it side by side on the Subi Hat Cam Angle. I'm going to weigh it. I want to weigh the parts. I want to go through a full thing. It's going to be a long video, but I want it to be thorough, right? I don't want to be one of those like really shallow or just a quick overview. No, I want this to be an in-depth situation where you can come in, you can click into this and say, is this product for me? What's it about? How does it work? How does it break down? What do I need to know? And what do I not need to know? Guys, I did order again, mine without Loctite, so I can show you this. If you don't order it without Loctite and you specifically tell them that, it's going to ship and you won't be able to disassemble it, right? Guys, let's go below. <laughs> Come with me. Let's go put this little guy back together again. And here it is, guys. The Subi Hat Cam Angle up close and personal with the Rex console, guys. And just look at this. Look at how beautiful this knurling is. This. Look at this. It's just incredible. It's like fish scales almost, guys. It's absolutely incredible. Guys, I just love this. Wow. The knurling is unlike, like, I, I heard someone say they'd never felt anything like it. To me, guys, it feels like, honestly, like, like armor. It feels so nice in the hand. Oh, like fish scales. It's super grippy. Honestly, that is probably the best knurling I've ever felt in my life. It's not sharp and it's not like it's going to get like crud stuck in there. It's really, really nice. All right, guys. If you haven't seen my Rex videos as of lately, um, how this is going to work is I wanted to showcase this. This piece comes out by pulling. I'm not going to pull it out of this razor because it's kind of a bear to put back together, but it pulls right out and then you have a retaining nut that would slide in and go right in there and then it screws back together. This is going to be the exact same as the Rex. Um, it's going to just pull out. I'm not going to do it again, but that's how it would work and that's how you'd get down to these pieces right here, guys. You can see we've got the spring. We've got our base plate. I did go and buff these edges, guys. I just I rounded them out a little bit more for me. And then I also rounded these corners up a little bit off camera. I just ran downstairs really quick and did it. I did a really fast, like 15 minute. And Matt does offer a polished version of this for a little bit more money. I just didn't want to pay the more money. And I wanted to see what it looked like in the satin finish, guys. So I did do the same thing. I just removed these burrs and some of the, this, the sharper edges that I didn't like. One thing that I noticed, guys, off camera, if you put your hand here, right, you can see that this there's a raised edge. And that's how this works, right? That's how the um, slant works, is there's more material as it goes up. Well, the more material on this side, guys, I don't know if I, you guys can see this. See that lip? This lip on the back side is not polished, at least on my version, because I ordered the non-polish, right? And it is, it was sharp. So I just I just went in and kind of adjusted it and, and cleaned it up and polished it a little bit. I deburred it, right? I deburred that edge. But if you're grabbing yours and like doing this with it, you can actually feel that edge is pretty sharp. It was. Not anymore. Um, you guys, I want to get this thing loaded and built. Let's get the pieces. If you guys are curious, if you're like, weigh it, I did grab my scale. Um, and I wanted to make sure I weighed it for you guys on the sum of the parts so you guys could see. The handle is looking like it's 44 grams as opposed to my XL handle, guys. With the, I mean, it would have the, it would have the knob included. And the knob for this one's longer. Yeah, it's like 52 grams if you, are 60 grams without the knob inside of there. So it's definitely lighter, but it's still not super light, right? It's still a hefty handle at 40 something grams, 42 grams. 43, 42, whatever it's going to be with my inaccurate kitchen scale. Um, then we're going to weigh the other piece. We're going to just take the pieces and we're going to throw them on. We're looking at 60-ish uh, grams for all the pieces other than these two. So if you were to disassemble this and make your own handle, maybe you don't use a heavy knob, maybe use the knob. Um, let's do that, actually. I just wanted to show you guys what the weight differential is on the actual new grip. 80 grams. So, I mean, you're probably 40 grams, eh, like 32 grams or something um, for the for the new centerpiece, right? The new knurling, which is gorgeous and absolutely worth it, right? I love the knurling. I think this knurling is amazing, guys. Summed together, it is 104 grams, according to my scale, broken down in its components, guys. Broken down to the little tiny pieces. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our scale set aside. I'm going to cut this in. I'll be right back. And now we're back, guys. Sorry, I just sat everything aside. I got a towel out so you guys 
um, can see everything a little bit better, a little bit more HD. Just can't have a towel with the scale, so I apologize for that. I just wanted to show you guys what things weighed, and because I hadn't opened it yet, I, I wanted, I wasn't sure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our blades, guys. We're gonna get our blades started. We're gonna get this thing built back together. We're gonna assemble it. I'm so excited again that I ordered it without Loctite, as that allows me to get in, clean it, dry it, and really go through the sum of the parts. Um, let's let's really quickly, guys. I want to show you guys this. Here is the Rex console broken down versus the Rex Ambassador, guys. Here is my Rex Ambassador in the same equal pieces. What we'll do is we'll set it up like this. This will be interesting. I, I, I want to showcase this too. I wasn't going to, it was going to take a little more time, but I really want to just go through everything about this razor. And I think, because really it's a huge investment. I want you guys to know what you're getting and what you're paying for and what makes it unique, right? And there you guys go. So you can see you got your base plate. You have your uh, middle part that actually allows for the head cap to adjust level. You have your screw or your uh, spring. Those look the same. You have your handle. And in this case, you have the handle with the rod. And then you have your head cap. You have your little adjustment wheel too. So there you guys go. There is the two razors fully broken down. You can see very, very, very similar. Here is the Rex Ambassador versus the Rex, guys. And you guys can see here, I want to showcase this. Just the differences, right? Look at the slant versus the non-slant. Look at the the materialing. Look at the angle of the even the base plate, guys, here. Really interesting, right? There's a little bit of different material. There, there, look at the material on the on the on this uh, slant, guys. It's actually lifted. You see how it's lifted? I don't even know if that's coming across correctly on the camera. You see how lifted that is? The material is actually slanted on the base plate, right? Slanted, right? Very cool. I mean, what you're paying for really is this well-engineered, really well-thought-out base plate. I have not used the Tatara Masamata, the new adjustable one from Tatara, but I think it's got to have something similar to the base plate being very, very... Um, it's not slant, but, but being engineered very unique. This is very unique. The CNC and everything about it is very unique. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to reassemble my two razors and uh, get things put back together so I'm not confused on this end and use the wrong thing. I do not want that to happen. So again, this part goes on like this, uh, nice and easy. This part, you want to make sure the, not, the red dot goes up. And it goes all the way down to the 0.5. We're going to assemble this uh, head cap right back on. You guys can see I've done this a few times. I, I screw on my frugal shaves too. And then I adjust it out to six. And because my uh, handle isn't locked tight at on, guys, I have to adjust it kind of after the fact, right? Make sure that it adjusts where I want it to. There we go. Because you can get it to adjust. I was talking to a friend of mine. Uh, you can get it, the Shave Disciple, you can actually get this razor to adjust a little further out. You can actually make it go all the way over to the one or the two afterward. You can actually make it so it's more gap if you don't have the Loctite version. You can actually make the Rex more uh, more aggressive. All right, so we're going to do, do the same thing here. We're going to assemble. And again, I apologize for the length of this. I just really think you guys, if you're interested in this razor, this is a razor you're considering. I want to give you guys as much information as possible so you guys can see how it works, how the components work, and how they work together, right? You could technically go in here like this, right? Unscrew it, unscrew it that we just did, put it on like this, I think, and check it out, boys and girls. Here we go. Um, I think you have to make sure. Let's go and make sure that it's adjusting all the way down to. Okay, it's backwards. If you guys don't know, these razors are like, they're very similar to the Gibbs. So you have to just do this. And make sure that it's adjusting all the way. And flip it around. That's looking much better. Okay, doke, there we go. So now it's going down to the one. And check this out, guys. 
we got our first ever Rex console hack. Would you do this? Probably not, because the Rex console or the console is absolutely beautiful handle. But there you guys go. Rex console via Gibbs style. This is an adjustable slant with a Gibbs style handle from Frugal Shaves. How cool is that? That changes the weight quite a bit. That puts it back down to the 80 grams, 80, like 86 grams, guys, like in this format, which is cool. It also gives it a different grip. Kind of interesting, <laughs> right? You can do the same thing backwards, right? You can flip it around because the threads are the same. I wanted to see if the threads are the same. Check this out, guys. Oh, Nelly Nurse. Guess who's got a Rex ambassador with a console handle? The parts, guys, take a look. So the parts are all being manufactured pretty much the same, right? There's your Rex ambassador and the Rex console flipped around. Because why not, right? Why not? We're not going to actually do it that way today. I actually want to use this razor the way it's supposed to be. But I was just curious. I was curious as it comes. We're going to put this one back together. How cool is that? We're going to have to do that. We'll have to flip it around. We'll have to play with some different uh, different handles on the Rex Ambassador, as usual, and on the Rex console. Guys, one more thing. One more thing. Because Jeremy made it for me. How about this? How about the Console XL? I think Matt could definitely make a killing on the Console XL, guys. Take a look at this. Oh, sneezy snap, guys. Look at this. What do you think? We got the console on lock with the extra large head. The Rex console XL, guys. That's nice. I mean, that's a slant that's worth keeping. Woo! Guys, look at this. I don't know. I love being able to modular, um, you know, modularly change my razors. And having the two razors unlocked head, right? This is the XL and the console standard, right? Um, the console standard um, height. Because of that, we can kind of play around with all the different sum of parts and get different types of razors. There we go, guys. I'm going to adjust it all the way over. So that, like I said, I have to just kind of unscrew it a little bit, make sure it's all the way adjusting out, then tighten the handle, and then tighten the knob. And that's because mine does not have Loctite. That's something you'll have to do if you disassemble every single time fully. Just make sure it's all the way maxed out. And same thing. Then you can go all the way down. Down to that, yeah, like one, just a little bit before the one. But if you guys watch, right, I don't know if you guys are seeing this even. Look how much movement I can get on mine. There's the six. Boink! There's all the way out to the three. Right? That's like like, like an extra two, two numbers worth of aggressiveness because I have mine unlocked tighted. It does leave a little gap, guys, underneath right here. You can see there's a little bit of gap if you're doing that like kind of workaround. But if you want more gapanization, guys, you can get it. You can definitely get it all day long. Wow, I really like that. Okay, so we're gonna grab our blades. We're grabbing some Derby Blacks, guys. These are the Platinum Blacks. We're gonna cut them up and we're gonna go for a shave. I'm going to just cut mine in half. Again, this razor covers the blade tabs, which I really, really appreciate. Glad Matt made it that way, as I hate blade tabs. They tend to cut my ears and I don't, I believe that all modern razors should have uh, head caps that cover them. And the Subi stacking, as I like to call it, guys, this is kind of weird. Something I like to do with all my razors, it shaves better for me that way. You don't have to or need to do it this way. It's just something I like to do for me. I believe it reduces chatter and increases rigidity inside the head cap and reduces blade flexion in the head cap. And somebody reached out to me and said, well, if you do it that way, doesn't it mess with uh, alignment issues? And I have to be honest, guys, I don't really get alignment issues with it. So no, but I've always lined my blades up with a blade box after I get everything tight. Just something I have always done. Like this. So for me, it doesn't really cause blade alignment issues or anything like that. There you guys go. I want to make sure this is on the hat cam angle correct. You guys see this? That's quite a bit of uh, exposure, but not as much as exposure as on the Rex to start. Quite a bit of good gap, really well assembled. I really like this. It's definitely, remember the blade hack I just did guys with the uh, Rex? 
That's about as much blade as I had on my Rex mod. So this is definitely a more neutral blade exposure. Okay, let's go get it loaded, or let's go get um, this on the head and see how it does for the dome shave, guys. Come with me. Bling bada boom, guys. Welcome back from the Subi Hat Cam Angle. I apologize for this going long. I really want to do this razor justice, and I want to give you guys all the content information you could possibly want and all my thoughts and opinions on such a big purchase item, right? If it was $20, right, you, you still want to understand what that is. You still want to have all the information possible, but at the same time, you're like, okay, if it's 20 bucks, I'm not out a ton, right? Leaf, you're out 80 bucks, but there's also that warranty. They're going to be able to, they're going to return it if you don't like it. Some companies offer things like that. This doesn't really have that option, right guys? You're buying it, you're investing in it, and I'm trying to make it so you guys can understand and see what you're investing in, why you'd want it, and how it works. For me, guys, I think that I would still, um, like, I still would like to see more of those corners removed. It's a little sharp, and my head, call it what it is, maybe my dome is just really sensitive, guys, but I hate sharp corners or, like, machine, you know, hard machine corners on my razor, and you can, like I said, pay uh, more money up front. I think it's, like, an additional $140 or something, to have uh, the product shipped as machine polished. I don't know how that looks or if that reduces the corners, but I know that I was able to just go in. I didn't want to pay more money for something I could do. Again, my lab has been sitting too long, guys, but it still wax, still wax. Um, I didn't want to pay a ton of money up front for something I like to do myself anyway. So I just took those corners right off knowing exactly where they were, same place as where they were on my Rex. So I'm assuming that's pretty much standard where they are and it may not bother people right see shaving a uh, face or something like that that's not going to bother people it bothers me because i have i have to shave around my ears and stuff and i need the razor to be completely smooth all over the body of it just because i'm a little less cautious and careful right it's my fault blame sumi shaves it's my fault guys right now we're sitting on 37 hours almost two days worth of non-shavery I'm actually been nursing a little bit of a, a cut, and so I have not been shaving on the dome as of recently, guys. So we're going to get in there and see how this does. Oh, I, I, did I mention this sterling stuff? Really good, guys. And the mountain hair shaving knot and or the shaving brush, I mean, beautiful, guys. Beautiful. This is its first run, and it's the only brush that I own that's pink, and that's part of the reason we had to use a pink soap. And I didn't own any pink soap, so I had to go to my wife and I'm like, you got any soap? This is very, very floral and very, very citrusy. It's a nice scent. It's really strong. And they mentioned that on their website, guys. They actually said it's a stronger scent. So I, I you know, good, good on Sterling. But they, they, they did was as they uh, said on their page, guys. It's potent. All right, here we go. Oh man, this is like the maiden voyage run for this beautiful razor. I'm starting her out on uh, six, guys. Starting her out on six. We're going to see how it shaves. Interesting. Remember that video I just did, guys? Like how I was mentioning that? The video I just did on the Rex Ambassador with the mini blade, the short blade, the small blade. This feels very similar to that, but this is much more efficient than that. Oh, look at this. That is efficiency that you would not expect. Wow, it's a lot smoother than I had anticipated um, that a little bit of blade. I thought it was going to be very, very, like, you know, a little bit too mild because of how much blade is not shown. Oh, my heavens. I love the weight. The weight's perfectly distributed. I am not letting the razor rest fully on my um on my head i'm kind of pulling up a little bit as it's going very good shave you guys still like garbage very good shave guys super good. ultra nice shave man ultra nice it still takes off all the lather and you can see i'm just using the weight of the razor i'm not pressing i'm not doing anything stupid like i said i am shaving maxed out on the razor this is max but for you guys that want to know how it shaves comparatively maxed to the Rex Ambassador, this is about a third of the blade exposure on my skin is how it feels. It's still equally as smooth as the Rex though, which is weird. 
I didn't think it would be as smooth as the Rex. For me, I didn't really think it was going to be smooth. I thought it was going to be really chattery or kind of um, less efficient with this little blade as it's exposed. Um, uh, slant razors in general should be fairly smooth. That's kind of one of the things that they're known for. Because of the gu guillotine or guillotine or however you want to pronounce it effect that it goes through on the hair follicle. But we are maxed out on this baby. Maxed out. Take a look at this. I think there's definitely some people out there that won't like this razor. And there's definitely people out there that will gravitate to this. Guys, look. I think, you know, for some people, the slant is kind of a, um, kind of a hype word, right? It's something that maybe not everybody needs or will experience a performance increase. For me, I get a huge increase, like I said, on my um, soft hairs. Wow. Guys, it really does shave freaking good. What in the slap me in the ear? What in the Skittle Nation is this? Well, I feel honored, privileged. I feel very fortunate today to be using the console and getting a phenomenal shave from it. Yep, Matt did good with this. He listened to the community. And he put out a product that is, in my opinion, kind of like, like a Rex, you know, update, guys. It feels to me like he was like, okay, I couldn't figure out how to make the Rex smooth and efficient without having uh, that blade exposure. Let's go to a slant and see how it works. And it really feels like he listened to the community. I think a lot more people would like this razor than the Rex, personally. If you love the blade fill of the Rex, you probably could still like this razor. Because it still gives a good shave. Wow. It is not ultra like aggressive, guys. On a blade fill, I would say it's like uh like a, a four out of ten, probably. And that's maxed. Oh. Like I said, I wasn't going at this with like no stubble, right? This is this is almost two full days of non-shaving. And for me, that's a lot. Because I usually shave daily. Here's the thing, though. Is I have a cut on my head, right? I have one. And I know I have a cut on my head. And I'm able to shave right over it. And honestly, guys, I think this might be the better razor. I'm not going to lie here. I really... I'm, I think that actually may be better than the Rex for me. Oh, I can see a lot of people not liking this because I'm maxed out with it and I'm shaving without problems. And there's people out there that need more efficiency and that reach for the Rex. But for me, I don't, that's, that's solid. Oh, I don't know if you can justify the money for this, right? Justifying the money for it, guys, that's going to be a whole other thing. But if you're looking for something that is going to give you a lifelong shave that's worth having, and doing, I can definitely say this is good. This is sweet. Oh man, shut up, get out, what the? Okay, Welp. I didn't think the Rex Ambassador could be beat. I like this more. I know, don't come at me with pitchforks. Put your torches down. I don't need it. Guys, that is that is awesome. The Rex Ambassador is really unique. It has a lot of blade fill. It's very blade forward in every position. This is the exact opposite. Even maxed out, there's very little blade fill to it. It is very efficient at the same time. I would say this is like on an efficiency scale, it's like an 8 out of 10. But as far as the blade fill goes, guys, 2, 3. Okay, maybe a four, but you guys can see this, right? Like, I am just going in here. Like, would you do that with the Rex? Would you do that without, on Max, guys? Would you do that on your Rex? No, there's no way in crap you would do this. I mean, it's, uh, compared to my above the tie slant, this is smoother. I think this is maybe the smoothest slant I've ever used. 
has half the blade fill as the Wonder Bar did. Oh my freaking crap, guys. That is slant smooth. You know what I mean? You know when you get a slant shave and you're like, that is never gonna, I'm never gonna have a hair follicle again. I will have no hair the rest of my life. That is how close this is, guys. Beautiful shave. Matt nailed it. Matt killed this shave. Again, guys, Matt did not send this razor to me. I paid up front fully on the pre-order. And honestly, guys, I love it. It's phenomenal. For, for a DE razor, guys? For a dome shaver? For a daily runner? Oh, yeah. Oh, all day long, every day of the, of the week. No problems. We're going to be finding out how much the handle plays into it. I want to see if you lighten it, if it makes it too inefficient. Guys, freaking money shaver. Just a tiny blade. Little blade like I did on the Rex. Really close. Here's the thing is when I did it with the small bladed Rex, I had to do like two extra passes, right? Half, uh, one and a half extra passes. This did not need that same treatment to be way close. Beautiful razor, guys. Sumi Shaves approved. Beautiful shave. Thank you so much. I know it was long. It was awesome. I hope you all enjoyed it. Guys, if you if you appreciated the video, go below. Give me a like. Give me a sub. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much again for joining me. Woo! I'm going to go enjoy this. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.